Oh, hi. Well, it's time again for me to upgrade my iMac 24 inch mid 2007 model, uh, which is uh, running at 2.4 gigahertz and 4 gigabytes of RAM. The downside of the computer has always been the hard drive size. It's only 320 gigabytes, which, okay, uh, a couple of years back, that was a lot. But nowadays, I, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm not going to lie, and I'm sure a lot of other people are uh, with that kind of hard drive size. So what I've done is I've went ahead and I've went to the uh, computer mall yesterday and I picked up a 2 terabyte hard drive which I'm going to install in this computer um, which I hope will, uh, will boost it up a little. Now I'm not really planning on keeping the computer for myself. Um, I don't think I'd go quite as far as 2 terabytes personally at this point because uh, I probably don't need all that space. But uh, I'm hoping it's a sweetener, sell off the computer and, and to help out another person that doesn't know how to self-upgrade an iMac and can't uh, afford a brand new one with a brand new 2 terabyte drive in it. So uh, please join me as I uh, try my first uh, internal modification of the aluminum iMac 24 inch. So before we get started, uh, especially as a first timer myself, um, one of the first things I'm going to do here um, is make an additional backup of all my things um, that are really important to me. Uh, I've got a regular backup, a time machine backup, which keeps everything uh, backed up, but if something went wrong with that drive, uh, I could be in some trouble and it may be a hassle to try and connect my current internal drive externally at this point. So I just need a little bit of an emergency backup of things just in case I really need things urgently in the next few hours and I can use it on one of my other computers. Um, so please keep that in mind and of course uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of prayers that nothing goes wrong when I uh, go ahead and uh, go inside this computer. Um, and uh, for all of you watching, yeah, just uh, hopefully watching this will give you some confidence to, uh, to go inside your computer as well, but please remember to always be careful. Um, as uh, people like myself and uh, probably you if you're watching this we don't 100% know what we're doing inside these computers and it's very easy to damage them so be careful. Alright the first step is to remove your RAM door and after you finish that use a suction cup to remove your panel. Once you've removed the panel you're able to gain access to the uh, frame of the computer so you want to just look around the frame there's about 12 screws that you're going to need to take out. Um, don't worry about being too quick with this because uh, you, you know you don't want to scratch the LCD which is now exposed so just be nice and slow and careful uh, that's the safest way to perform um, after you've removed all those screws you're going to be able to pull up the frame a little bit but be careful because there is a cable attached to the eyesight which still needs to be removed so there may be tape on that, that you're going to need to take off once you're inside there uh, you want to go next to the fan where there's a cable that monitors the temperature of the LCD that you're going to want to remove. So just pull that out really carefully, of course, making sure you don't break that in the process. And then you'll be able to remove the screws that are around the LCD screen. Uh, another uh, time when you need to just be careful. Just don't uh, don't go too fast. Take it easy. And, uh, and then just go ahead and pull up the screen a little bit. Now, don't pull it up too hard, though, because there's some cables beneath it that you're going to see, right? Uh, just like they're on the screen right now. Um, take the time to remove those and then you'll be able to lift the LCD clean out. Uh, once you remove the LCD, you're going to have access to all of the innards of the computer. So just pull down on the little latch on top of the hard drive, remove the uh, temperature gauge on the hard drive, and you're going to be able to just make sure you, you pull down quite hard on the, the latch though and you're going to be able to just pull out the hard drive just like so. Remove the SATA cables, uh, both power and data, and uh, you're free to go. So, uh, of course, that's quite easy, and just do it in reverse in order to re put the computer all back together. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.